But first on Fox, a Jefferson County neighborhood violated after nearly a dozen car break ins. But first on Fox 2 News at 6 and all new, a woman carjacked and beaten with a handgun fights back with her cane. But first at 6, Fox 2 has learned that some big changes may be coming on the Big River in Jefferson County. An explosive day on Capitol Hill today as former FBI Director James Comey told the Senate Intelligence Committee today that he believes he was fired because of the FBI investigation into Russian meddling in last year's election. All new at 10 months after a Lindbergh student was severely injured, he shocks his classmates by not only making it to his high school graduation, but by doing something that nobody would have predicted a month ago. Well, the mood has shifted from celebratory to somewhat somber. I don't know if these folks are watching a different race than the folks at Vic Faust's live shot, but they're nervously watching the results of the presidential election right now, hoping that another woman will win office. But nevertheless, their candidate, Tammy Duckworth, wins the Senate seat, unseating incumbent Republican Mark Kirk. Tonight, new action toward possible city-county reunification after a new study shows St. Louis is falling behind similar cities in a number of ways. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Post Scripts. This is our weekly look at news and politics with our newspaper partners at the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. I am Rafer Weigel. It's opening night at the Muni, the unofficial start to summer in St. Louis. And it begins on what could be the hottest, muggiest night of the year so far. Fox 2's Patrick Clark, he's live outside the Muni. We sent him into the elements to experience it firsthand, <laughs> and he's showing us how everybody's going to beat the heat, so the show must go on. Hey, Patrick. Well, this story really bites, and it has people fired up on social media. A Florida woman posted a video showing her allowing a snake to bite her one-year-old daughter. Take a look at this. The mother has not been charged with a crime, but police are investigating the incident. Now, according to the mom, her baby was not hurt, just scared of the snake's movement. Her point was to teach her child about wildlife and what species oh. to avoid. Yes. <laughs> and she's laughing. You hear her laughing? But first on Fox, a Jefferson County neighborhood violated after nearly a dozen car break ins. Erica, thank you. Now to a call for action to change some of St. Louis City's most rundown neighborhoods. Fox News Aisha Khan is live with how local officials met with residents to talk about what can be done to bring these neighborhoods back to life. Aisha? A Belleville woman and her son are both shot in her driveway, and police say that this was during an apparent robbery. The 57-year-old woman was shot twice, her 27-year-old son once at their home on Glenview Drive. Now, police say it's a two-part crime scene inside and outside of the home. The suspect left in an older model, white Chevy Impala. A neighbor was shaken by the news. It's scary because he says that the man who was shot is in the process of becoming a church minister and is a mentor to the neighborhood kids. Well, an office assistant is accused of stealing more than $30,000 from an UMSL organization. Court documents state Amber Bauer forged $7,900 in checks and made more than $22,000 of unauthorized payments from the accounts of Sigma Beta Delta. That's a business honor society. The group's executive director noticed a $500 payment to Bauer's mobile phone account, which she said she paid accidentally. Bauer was fired. Jaron Jordan, Fox 2 News. Poor Jaron looked like he was really it's burning hot up. out there. He looks so warm. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jaron. Just how long will this heat and humidity last? Fox 2's chief meteorologist Dave Murray tells us at 1015. But before that, at 1013, a man's 17 year fight for justice comes to an end thanks to his doppelganger. And at 1024, you're going to hear from the Cardinal players about how they are starting to actually turn things around. The parents accused of concealing the death of their daughter were back in a Las Vegas court today. A judge has postponed the arraignment for Jason Quaid on child abuse charges until later this week. Now he's already been charged with sex trafficking, living off money for prostitution and concealing a homicide in Illinois. His wife, Elizabeth Quaid, went before a different judge and said that she will not fight her return to Belleville. Now, their daughter's body was found, you may remember, in Centerville last week after Elizabeth went to a shelter and called police. Well, the future of the controversial Confederate memorial is still unknown. The Missouri Civil War Museum wants to give it a new home, but the city says that's not going to happen. The museum is raising money to pay the city for its removal from Forest Park. The museum's founder says its mission is to save things related to the Civil War in Missouri. 
A city spokesman says that the city needs to make sure that the monument will never be displayed in a way that celebrates the Confederacy. We want it to show accurate history. The city says it will cost about $130,000 to remove and store the statue. A Fox 2 follow up the St. Louis 6 are closer to having a new place to roam free. The six steers were saved after escaping from a slaughterhouse back in March. Born free, <laughs> free as the wind blows. <laughs> Giving you a live look at the Pilot Street Bridge. What do you think of that, Dave Murray? The steers are free. Well, almost anyway, right? Right. Uh, well, getting closer anyway. 400,000 is not going to buy them their freedom. I, well, I'd go for four. <laughs> 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 they, got, they got some the celebrity go support. That's yeah. right. For, 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 that's right. <laughs> Day night double header at Bush Stadium tomorrow. It's going to be delightful in the afternoon. We're in one of those like sarcasm? little handheld. Yeah, a little, little <laughs> handheld yeah, sarcasm. Right. Just a little personal bit. fan, one of those like wet towels. Speaking of Bush Stadium, it'll be a special night, or it was a special night. 30 recent high school graduates took part in the Tobacco Free Nation All-Star Game. Former Cardinal players and St. Louis natives Scott Cooper and Kerry Robinson were the coaches. The Tobacco Free Nation project is sponsored by Delta Dental. It raises awareness of the dangers of all forms of tobacco products. And coming up in sports, a pair of local baseball players get picked up in the first round of the Major League Draft. Lastly, a turf war in L.A. caught on home surveillance camera after a mama bear and a coyote fight over food in a trash can. You can see the bear chase the hungry coyote away, and the bear's got a little cub there with her. But that did not deter the coyote. It kept coming up. Obviously, the bears won the showdown. Got to pick their trash. Well, I don't mess with a mama bear. Don't That's mess what with I'm a mama saying. bear. Thanks for watching Fox 2 News at 10. TMZ is coming up next. We'll see you tomorrow night. But first on Fox 2 News at 6 and all new, a woman carjacked and beaten with a handgun fights back with her cane. A 13-year-old girl is caught in the crossfire of a gunfight while she's sitting on her bed. This happened in Madison, Illinois, and that's where Fox News' Kelly Hoskins is live to tell us how the girl is doing. Kelly? All right, Kelly, thank you. The man accused of killing his six-year-old daughter and hiding her body in a garage in Centerville says he didn't do it. Jason Quaid spoke to our partners at The Post from jail today. Quaid says his daughter choked on a steak that she had in her mouth after he spanked her. This happened between late 2012 and late 2013 in Belleville. Detectives found the girl's body recently in Centerville after getting a tip from Las Vegas police. They say Quaid's wife told them about the body as part of a prostitution investigation. Quaid is locked up in a Las Vegas jail charged with forcing his wife into prostitution. During the interview, Quaid said it was his wife's idea to move to Las Vegas and work as a prostitute, and she was the one who found the garage in Centerville to dump the body. Illinois lawmakers are taking steps to go after sexual predators who target children. The bill that is waiting for Governor Bruce Rauner's signature would remove the statute of limitations on various sex crimes against kids. The bill was partly motivated by the case of former Congressman Dennis Haster. Haster, you may remember, was sentenced to 15 months in prison after pleading guilty to illegal bank withdrawals and lying to federal agents. Well, Haster was using the money as hush money payments to help keep past sexual misconduct allegations from going public. Prosecutors could not charge Haster with the sex crimes because the statute of limitations had expired. An explosive day on Capitol Hill today as former FBI Director James Comey told the Senate Intelligence Committee today that he believes he was fired because of the FBI investigation into Russian meddling in last year's election. Comey spent several hours answering questions from senators. He told lawmakers the president pressed for his loyalty that he felt like the president was directing him to end the investigation into former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn and that the president and his administration lied several times. He says he began taking notes of his meetings with the president because he feared the president would lie about their conversations in the future. He leaked those memos to a reporter after the president alluded to the possibility of tapes of their meetings. Comey said Trump himself was not under investigation. More signs of progress in Midtown St. Louis. The new transportation options coming to Cortex soon. Let's take a live look at the moon outside as we check in with Chief Meteorologist Dave Ooh. Murray. That's why I'm acting so strangely. That's, that, it's that's one reason. tomorrow, right? Well, it's, it's like 8 o'clock in the morning. Okay. So overnight tonight is the full moon. You act this way all the time, right? No, right. I'm just kidding. Right. <laughs> all right, Nature Lovers, a new hotel in the Swiss Alps is letting you become immersed in nature. If but you will. would you be willing to stay at a zero-star hotel? 
That will get you the minimal hotel experience, 64,000 feet above sea level up in the mountains, but that also comes with no walls, no property, and no bathroom. Right. How long is room service going to take? <laughs> no off room the service. mountain. <laughs> Thank right. you for watching Fox 2 News at 10. TMZ is coming up next. Thanks, Martin. <laughs> Thanks. All right, look at this adorable little guy. He's still a baby, but that's our new boy, the rhino. He's doing rhino things, <laughs> and we're going to show you when we come back. <laughs> Reminds me, we need to get back to the uh, country mansion in England. That's right. <laughs> or the country mansion that you've got, the country, what, what do you got? Like the, the little log cabin. Little log cabin. <laughs> but it's That's my right. mansion, darling. That's it. right. I'm still <laughs> waiting for an invitation. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us for Fox 2 News at 6. For news 24 hours a day, download the Fox 2 app to your smartphone. Celebrity Name Game is next, and we hope to see you back here at 10 o'clock.